Hello YouTube, Martin Ferret here again, back with more stuff. Today I have an antique wilderness survival pencil to show off. This one has some writing on the barrel. It says, Armital, U.S. Pat, November 27, 1906. Now Armital is a kind of alloy that's used as a fire starting flint. I don't know how it works exactly, and I don't know anything about it beyond that. But, uh... This pencil might give us some more clues. But first, let's continue to look at the barrel. You see on the clip, it has Eagle Pencil Co. New York written on it. This clip may or may not be original to this pencil, but it looks like a pretty good match to me. So, I'm not sure if this was actually made by Eagle or not, but it probably was. Now, on the cap end, there's a little ball that you twist off. And inside we find a wick, a little brass wick. And what I'm guessing is a piece of the Armital flint. And you would use that to start a fire. Now, the barrel of the pencil also has this neat little slot here. Now, I was thinking uh, perhaps there was a mechanism that was here at one time. But if you look inside where the lid is supposed to go, it's completely solid in there. And there's nowhere for a spring or anything to attach. This is pretty empty. So my guess is you would strike this like a match inside that slot. Again, I don't know, because I don't know how these uh, flints work. And I'm not going to experiment in my house. But that's my guess. If anybody knows better, please comment below and... Tell me what you think. Now going back to this end, it is solid in there. And it's used to house this little wooden pencil stub. I'm sure it was longer when it was new, but this is all that remains of it now. And it's pretty shallow in there, so it really can't be used as a good pencil extender. For example, I have this pencil here from the 1880s. So it should be the right vintage to fit inside here and it does go in well if it wants to fight me it does go in but it comes right out so there's no grip this slightly more modern pencil does fit in it a little better it's a round barrel but you shake it a little bit and it will fall out like that. Of course, this pencil's a bit long. It's not ready for an extender yet. But this is just too shallow. So I don't think it's meant to be used as a pencil extender. It's meant to use this and nothing else. It's also very curious how solid the other end of this stub is. My guess is you could buy refills for this thing. They're a very specific size. Now on the cap end, uh, there's nothing in here. There's no mechanism, no spring, no anything whatsoever. Except it is coated with some sort of uh, clay red material. And what it does is when you put this in, it kind of softens it a little. It's hard to explain, but you can feel it resisting when you, when you put it in there. You put the wick back in. But there's no mechanism inside it. That said, the pencil is pretty heavy. This is really, really hard to get back in with one hand. I'm not even going to try it. So this little stub, it still writes. There's enough of it left to make some marks on paper, as you can see. It's also very light, just compared to this one. So there's still a little bit of graphite left on this thing. My guess is that when it was new, based on how shallow this is, it's probably about this long, about as long as a golf pencil, and it's just been reduced to this. I don't know. The pencil may as well not even it may as well not even be here, to be honest. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Uh, comment below if you guys know anything about this. I would surely like to learn more if there's indeed more to learn. I'm always looking for new things, well, new old things anyway, uh, and when I find something of interest, I'll be sure to make a video about it. 
until then, ciao.